Kevin Jonas, Franklin Jonas, claim to fame season three. Congratulations, season three. gentlemen. Can't believe it. We're back. And thanks for stopping by USA Today. We appreciate Thank it. Happy to have you. All right, so when you find out that it's renewed for season three, because I would imagine this is a season by season deal here, yeah. right? It's not a, all right, you find out it's renewed for season three. What's your initial reaction? Well, first, it wasn't even going to happen. Um, you know, it was one of those things where we were just balancing too much with my calendar and Franklin's calendar with touring yeah. and different things because we were in Australia and South America and then Europe and. Luckily, some space opened up, and the show was able to sneak back in, and here we are. We always wanted to make it happen. It was just trying to figure out the calendar was just getting so full. But our first reaction was just call each other and be Let's very, go. very excited. Yeah. So ABC had the interest, but it really was just a matter of, okay, do we have time to yeah, do- like stop and film what we got to film? We yeah. obviously want to make the show happen, and we did everything we could to do that. So luckily for us, it was just a calendar situation, looking at every possible thing. And of course, there's always factors with new shows and shows that are being renewed and other things. So we're just hope- hopeful that we'll be able to continue this from year to year, always. We love it. We love doing the show. Yeah. Um, why do you think the show has resonated with viewers? I think it's a fun play along, right? Yeah. I think it's super easy for fans to play along at home. They're really interested. They like to figure it out, just like we do when we're on set, trying to figure out who they're related to. and. Also, I think it's it's kind of feel good, you know. I think that it's it's good TV. It's a different kind of take on a reality show, which I love. It's a good fit for like a lot of different audiences, the older and the younger. We yeah. have people that the younger audiences have very have a lot of trouble figuring out, and then some that the older audiences have no clue right. who they are. So right, yeah, yeah there's like, a lot of interest from both sides. Right, like a younger audience might not know who a Donny Osmond is. Or Correct. Older, right, exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. That actually spurs another thing too. Do you guys ever reach out? I mean, obviously at some point we see some of these celebrities, they appear via video or or however, but even beforehand, is there a, hey, are are you okay with your sibling or your relative doing this? Is there ever any of that type of reach out? We're not really involved in that aspect of it. Got it, Um, okay. But for the most part, every person we've talked to has always been like super supported by their celebrity relative. And and it's a fun thing. It's like we said, it's feel good. It's not never malicious in in, in any way. So it's not like anyone's out to like get their relative. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, it's different. That's been, I, I think that is one of the really cool things about it is then to see the famous relative yeah. and see their well wishes for it and you have those like feel good moments. Yeah, we have a lot more of that in this season and it's even grown more than beyond. we've ever had, yeah, I think, this season. It's grown more than that, which yeah. is really cool. Oh, that's there's a good a lot point. of, uh, I think, uh, knowledge from more celebrities that are pushing their relatives totally. to be on the show, which I think is really interesting. That's great. I mean, it's a, and it's a tribute to how successful the show is, but also the fact that, you know, I'm sure for season one, whether you guys realize it or not, I bet there were some celebrities that were maybe a little oh, hesitant, I, I could or even some contestants that were yeah, wondering, like, is my sibling is. gonna be mad? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And yes. I think now that we've, you know, this is season three of a show. You know, this is people understand it, and that's what we've seen for the most part with these contestants. They have come to play the game. I have no problems throwing anybody under the bus. I'm here to compete to win. I want that money, money. Unlike maybe seasons in the past where, you know, they're still getting used to the show and the formats and the games we play. Yep. Now they're like, I'm coming in with a whole new personality, uh, like wardrobe to <laughs> accents to the whole thing, really trying to throw people off because they want to win. So and they know really what's fun. worked previous seasons and they yeah. know what hasn't worked previous seasons. All right, what does work? What's the best way to win? Ooh, keep silence. your mouth shut. Yeah, <laughs> um, no, I actually shut. think that playing the game this season, like yeah. really put teeing people up and spreading false information, is becoming like the begins. thing. And it it worked really well it, this it did. season. A reflection of what's happening in the real world. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, Hundred thousand dollars still the prize. Yes, oh, it yes. is. Yeah. How do you land on that number? Is that I take it out write? of Frankie's bank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's that's my paycheck. It's yeah. just, it goes straight to the contestants. Uh, you know, how do we land on the number? It's just it's a nice round number, I guess. Yeah. How has it been for the two of you working together on this show? It's been fun, man. Yeah. It's been it's been great. I think that this is the only thing that this is the only show or only thing that I get to work on with a brother, and he gets to work all the time with the other brothers. So. It's uh, it's it's fun, man. I think that we get along really well, and we have a lot in common. And so, totally. being the oldest and the youngest, there's a lot of time difference, but I think in personality, there's a uh, a lot of cohesion in a sense, and uh, we have a good time. We're lucky to be able to do this together. You know, Franklin, I've interviewed Kevin and your other brothers mm-hmm. at various points all throughout their career. Um, I'm curious for you with this show, though. Is it like? As you see these other famous relatives and siblings, is there like some type of therapeutic 
I don't want to say pleasure, but maybe like something in some way, maybe you relate to what's going on with them. And it's a bit of like, oh, okay. Like I'm not the only one that went through this as a kid. Absolutely. In another life, I was a contestant on this show. I think, you know, I think that we, it's really nice. We, t we tend to have different hosting styles where totally. I'm able to connect, I think, to the contestants in a way where like, I've been in their shoes and I've been, and I'm able to relate to them in a way that Kevin's more the business world, we're doing a show. Um, but we're happy, we, you know, I think that it's, it's nice and it's, it is therapeutic in a sense and I think it's nice for them to have me on board as well to sort of remind them that this is fun and yeah, absolutely. we're all friends here. It does get intense, so it's fun to have Frankie break the ice. Yeah. Do you get any of that? Uh, do I get any of what? Just as far as like feeling his like... The... Oh, absolutely. Franklin is the best always with this stuff, you know, like to me... Working with Franklin has been a joy. And Thanks, you know, I work with the other guys almost every single day. So <laughs> getting to do this is a nice breath of fresh air sometimes. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. What's Franklin's strength as a as a colleague? Oh wow. Um I think just the lightheartedness of everything. Um it's just he comes with it with joy. And I think he's just happy to be there. And so you can sense that and it's wonderful. Thanks, man. And Franklin, why is Kevin the right brother to, to co host this with? Oh man. I mean Kevin's an incredible host. I mean, from the very beginning of this show, I came to him sort of as a guiding light because he's he's hosted before, and he, he's this is something that he is has a real strong suit for an ability. And I knew that I was in capable hands of. I've never done anything like this when we first started, and and sort of looking to Kevin to sort of carry me into this new job into this new career, and it's been it's been really nice, and just to have his understanding of the whole process has been really beneficial, I think, for me. I would imagine prior to the siblings being on the show, at least maybe for some and, and other of the celebrity relatives, especially in this day and age with social media, so much is shared about everything and everyone that maybe like some of the famous celebrities involved were trying to protect their families almost or protect the identities. Right. Um, Kevin, did you and your brothers ever have to go through that with Franklin as you guys were starting up in... I know you had your parents think, around too. Yeah, for the no, first absolutely. Part, I think for the most part, we, you know, we loved having him around when he was younger. You know, like it was great, and he also it was kind of just what it was. Like yeah. we were a family on the road. It was. It wasn't like we gave it too much thought. It just happened that way. But then we tried to include him as much as we could when we were doing things that would allow for Franklin to be a part of it. Yeah. Remember, this is a long time ago. We're talking. Love, you know, yeah. You know, we're talking like. I don't even know, how old are you now? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I know what year it is, okay. So like we're talking, you know, 15, 16, 17 years ago. So yeah. a lot of life has changed since then. 100%. I was a seven year old when yeah, exactly. things really first started, and so. Yeah, and at that time, I mean, especially when you're on tour with them, there's like Disney cameras constantly following you, obviously the throngs of fans as well. What do you remember about that time? Like how were you processing all of this as a seven year old? <laughs> I remember it pretty, pretty vividly, but all, all also, you know, it was just our life. Mm -hmm. It uh -huh. was really just, I mean, my playgrounds shifted from the local school in New Jersey to then, like, backstage at arenas and, and theaters and stuff. And I think it, life just changed the way it looked, but I still kept going the same. Our family kept being the totally. same. And, you know, we still had dinner together every night. We still had family. We still had each other at the end of the day. So nothing really changed, but the environment changed. Yeah, the aesthetic changed. Is there anything, has there been like a, a through line from then till, not, till now as far as how the two of you have been able to stay grounded in whichever way you can? I just think it's just one, our family, number yeah. one. Um, but beyond that, I also think we all went on our own journeys. Like yeah. Yeah, everybody did, you know, I did, Franklin did, everybody did. So it's nice that we can kind of like go live our own independent lives come back and still do things together when it makes sense. Like, for example, doing a show together. You yeah. know, like, I, this is not my everyday job, but it is my everyday job because I do this as well. So it's like, I can break out and do this, we can break out and do that, it's great. Franklin, I noticed for the finale of season two, there were some parts where you were solo, and yes. then Kevin eventually joined you. Yeah. So now, was that a scheduling thing with what was going on maybe last year with promotion and tour of the album? And right, all yeah. That? yeah that was the... So we were in the middle of so much. There was an episode where I literally had to fly in a helicopter out of there. That wasn't <laughs> yeah, staged. That was it not was, staged. I, with the game of telephone, Always takes too long in our show. It takes forever because they it's impossible. they str they struggle it's pretty impossible. hard, it, and they struggle again on season <laughs> three. Um, but I ran out of time. I literally had to be on stage in Vegas in an hour and a half, and so I had yeah. to get out of there. 
Uh, so helicoptered out of the set. So it like was... like all things, I have to balance a lot in my life for whether it's this work, that work, and my family. So we try to juggle it all. How difficult is that? Um, we have a really good team around us. <laughs> it's not um, it's not always easy, but uh, you know we we do our best. I commend Kevin, man. He's 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 able to balance sort of you know his two different work lives and also his family life so so delicately. I mean. Every season we've done, there's been at some point in the season where he's had to go home to Jersey just to fly and see his family. And it's, so it's, I mean, just for a day even. Mm. Yeah. Same with it. this season? Yeah, just for the day. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's how you can keep family together. Is like sometimes like I can sleep on a plane at this point because I've had to like teach myself <laughs> to. Um, but you know, you just, you just gotta go. Doesn't matter. It's commendable. It's amazing. Franklin, are you a Jersey guy too? I mean, I know you're yeah. all you're once he, he always. Born, I get that. He was born here, grew up here, but really now it's Texas and now California. Really. Yeah, I'm. I, I lived in New York for a long time, and 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 now I'm now I'm an LA boy. I never thought I would be an LA this guy. guy. How, how did that happen? I don't know. I didn't like LA when we lived there growing up, but I think it was you just, made it your own. Yeah, just like I did with Jersey. Just New York, made it, it got own. to the point where I needed a I needed a washer and a dryer, and so. <laughs> I I I, I'm, I know, went for my my westward uh, adventure. You know, you could not go as far for a washer and dryer. It does actually exist uh, elsewhere, but like Jersey. I, I did want. Okay, fair enough. I wanted the sun too. I got a beautiful <laughs> orange tree. I'm living the best. life. You are. You're living. I'm a living great my life. best life. I was gonna say, was there a moment in New York? I'm assuming you were living in Manhattan. Was there yes. like a moment where like you're whether it's a, a drop off pickup situation or you're bringing something somewhere and you're like, all right, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, I mean, it was the, the, my laundromat was six blocks away and my grocery store was four and I was on a fifth story walk up. So there was just a point at which my legs were done. I was done <laughs> and my will to do it. I, you're over I, I was like, what the, what's the point? What's the point? And I, I understand I'm, I love New York. I love New York till I die, but I mean, oh man, <laughs> I just wanted to do one place. Yeah. Condense yeah. your life a little exactly. bit. Exactly. And you released an EP last year too, right? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, like, how did that come about? And then, like, I would imagine now, like, you have, like, this other career on top besides the job that you share together. Yeah, of course. So I worked on that music for a few years on my, on my own. I never really knew if I was going to release any of it. I kind of made it with the intention to not release it. And then it got to a point where some people in my life inspired me to do so. And I'm really grateful that I did that. You know, it takes a while to sort of just put your foot in the water and jump into the to, the to the freezing cold and and I'm really grateful that I did I've been sort of focusing my attention on doing it as much grassroots as possible and really trying to to pay my dues the way I watched them my whole life and that's been really inspiring to have them in the background really supporting it um, and in the future you know I, I, I think I want to take it slow I never want to release something that I don't feel like is just to release something I think I'm, I'm writing a lot and working on a lot and it's it's nice I think to have this job, to have claim to fame, because it helps me have the leniency and the ability to work on my more creative endeavors on the side. Kevin, you and Nick and Joe are the same way. You guys don't release things just to release things. Maybe at one point you did based yeah. on the contracts and record labels and everything else you had going on, but it seems like now you guys really just move at your own pace also. We do, I think that's just the artistry of it all, right? I think it you know has to be right to have it released. You know, we've been in the studio for, I'd say a year, um, working on the next project and it's still a work in progress right you know it's like there are things we will release and things we have released you know as one-offs or things you know we're working on but it's uh it's a challenge right you really it's you're building it is your voice right it is who you are as a person your persona as a, an artist in making an album and sometimes it's a cohesive thought sometimes it all happens all in one time and in inspiration sometimes it takes time um it just depends, and this time, you know, we've just been slowly churning. It's only been a year since our last album came out, um, literally like down to like a couple days. Yeah. Um, but it feels we've been done with that album for two years. So like it's it, you know there's this progress to release that is a little challenge like delayed, right? And so like you you want that inspiration to strike, but sometimes you need time to get. And we've been spending so much time on the road. And all the shows, you know, I've been doing shows since last uh, last February, um, till now, and I'm still going through October. So like we're no slowing down, and you Booked know, obviously, busy. yeah, it's exactly, and it's great, and I'm so unbelievably grateful. But sometimes you need to live a little bit of life to write write about it, and so it's, that's important as well.
looking back real quick at the album, it came out in May of last year. Yeah. A huge hit with Waffle House. The whole album was, I Thank thought, you. really, really good. And then, of course, the tour as well. You open up with a couple nights sold out at Yankee Stadium. Yeah. When you look back on that album cycle, what do you think? It was an incredible journey. We're still on it, right? We're, yeah. you know, we're, <laughs> we're heading to Europe in, in September, um, and, and uh, it's just incredible. And the fact that we've got shows throughout the summer, you know, periodic you know, moments, pretty much playing like doing the weekend warrior thing through the summer, I feel like. Like every weekend I'm somewhere for a couple of days, which is really kind of fun. Um, but the fact that we're still doing it, the fact that it's only the beginning, and the fact that it's growing is continually amazing to me. And now, you know, we're kind of just focused on what's next, what's where we're heading. And I can't believe it's gonna be 20 years of the band next year. It's gonna be crazy. Wow. And I noticed that a trailer just came out for a new movie that Nick's going to be in as well. Yeah. So is this kind of like, I mean, again, you you keep teasing some new things and you guys have teased yeah. some things up coming on social all, media. We all kind of were but, like working on stuff and, you know, needing to shift some things around for the projects, including this one, to make yeah. it a reality. And mm -hmm. I think that's what people have a hard time fully understanding as well all the time. It's like, yes, you know, you do your best to keep everything pretty organized, but then life kind of happens and sometimes you have to adjust just like a normal life. It is our version of that it's um it's difficult but it's challenging yeah um but we make it work uh nick did this movie a long time ago uh nick did this movie a couple of years ago he and actually was here in jersey ago. and coming back and forth and then it's finally like it's coming out now it's it's a beautiful film he does a really incredible job it's amazing yeah it's called the good half of course yeah, and he's like on set right now in, in, in dublin. dublin oh so still working on it no totally different, movie. different project Di on a different project different now yep. wow okay but again like having that break and I saw Joe on TikTok release a snippet of a song. Yeah. Is that a Jonas Brothers song or a... I'm going to let him talk about okay. that. You know, that's not my cup of tea. you said you guys were in the studio, yeah, so exactly. I wasn't... Exactly. No, we, there will be Jonas Brothers stuff, but I think Joe might be doing his own thing. Ah, okay. Franklin, what, uh, any, yeah, anything you want to add to that? Hey, no? <laughs> that's none of my business. Hey, man. That's the beauty of this thing, like we all do. We have this show together. Joe has music. Nick yeah. has music. DNCE. There's so much out there. There's so much ability to like just do ourselves yeah. as well. And I think that that's really hyper important. Jack and Jinju, by the way, still tour with you guys, right? Yeah, they do. They're yes. on the road with us all the time. And, you know, obviously they're the best. And Jack's they are been our drummer since I was 17, so. Please tell them both I say hello. I will, I will. Um, all right, anything else that I need to know about Claim to Fame? It's out on Wednesdays at 9 o'clock on ABC. It's an awesome season three. It's definitely more suspenseful than any other season we've had and way more intense for the contestants because it was kind of under a pressure cooker, so yeah. it's really fun We to up watch. the ante every season, and this season you definitely feel it. Yeah. What did you learn from taping season three that you wish you could have applied to season one, now looking back? I think we were just green a little bit, right? Yeah. You know, and I think we just didn't know exactly how to, we didn't know what the show was yet. It still was like, it, it was just getting its legs and the concept was there, but you go and film a show like this and you hope it works and you hope it connects with people. Right. and. Luckily, it really has, and now... And it's connected with our contestants. Yeah. And they know about the show, and they come in prepared in ways that, you know, even with season two, they were more prepared, but this season, we were, we were made very aware of how, like, planned your strategy can be. Totally. And it works, and it, it really is... I, I'm excited to watch it. All right, last question. Uh, what has your family reacted? How have they reacted to the show? Oh, they, they love, love it. it. Yeah, <laughs> and now everyone, all of our friends, this is their guilty pleasure. They're just because they don't want us yeah. to Why tell. Why do they got to couch it as a guilty pleasure? Well, they, it's just one of those things, <laughs> I guess. Fair enough. Uh, they, My wife a, loves it. it. She doesn't call it a guilty pleasure, It's a pleasure. It's, a pleasure. Yeah. Um, it's, it's yeah. definitely not a guilty pleasure. Yeah. It's a pleasure. But they, they like love Joe it. Joe watches it. And Everybody like, loves and it. He, like, he gets they mad at us if we spoil anything. So we have to do our best not to talk about it. Congratulations on Thank season you so three. Much. Looking forward to the premiere on July. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. Thank, Thank you. you.